I should have done this a long time ago. Start a sub stack. Because it solves so many problems with one fell swoop. The number one problem, the cardinal YouTube sin, is of not notifying my viewers of new videos. That really pisses me off. But some of the blame I gotta lay on myself, to be honest, because I knew about that problem for a while. People were telling me about it. But I didn't really know what to do about it. And then one day a commenter named Lonious Monk showed up and he said, you know, you should start a subsec as an end around YouTube not notify people. And then it hit me like a diamond bullet between the eyes, like Colonel Kurtz's diamond bullet. I had clarity in all directions all at once as a result of that comment. Because not only does Substack solve the problem of YouTube not notifying my viewers, but there's a whole host of other problems that a Substack solves as well. First is that the notification, what happens with Substack is I go in and I hit publish and emails go out to everyone who signed up to my Substack. And so there's nothing YouTube can do to stop those people from being notified that I have a new video. I just put up a Substack post saying that I've got a new video and people who sign up for Substack on my best evidence Substack, they get notified. Nothing YouTube can do about that. The second problem it solves is it always had misgivings when I was writing written descriptions for YouTube videos. Like I was putting a lot of work into it and I was giving away that labor to YouTube, which frankly is just an unworthy company. And now with Substack, all I need to do is I'll do the written description of the video in the Substack and just drop a link in the description box of the YouTube video. I also have a BitChute channel and an Odyssey channel as well. And that's all YouTube will get now uh, due to its heavy-handed censorship of my channel and its suppression of my channel, which involves a lot of other things. But the, not, not, the no notification, that's the worst one. Um, and Substack solves that. Solves two problems. No notifications and devoting labor unnecessarily to YouTube. The third problem it, it's, it, the third problem it solves involves interviews. And the interviews are really a two-edged sword. Uh, whenever I do an interview, people invariably ask, hey, where else, pe where else can people find you work? And I've for a long time said now that all my work is only on video. Um, but now with Substack, when I hit that publish button, not only do emails go out, but a URL is created for that new Substack post. So I can point people to my best evidence Substack and say, you know, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Odyssey, I'm on BitChute, now I'm on Substack. The URL in the description box. And that's, that's, so that's one side of the sword. The other side of the sword is I'll do interviews and I really have no way of notifying my YouTube viewers that I, hey, I did this other, I did this other interview. I mean, I have a channel or not a channel. I have a, a playlist devoted to interviews, but you know, no one's going to check that regularly, really. I mean, my interviews are there if they're on YouTube, but they're, if they're not on YouTube, I don't have any recourse at all. Um, but now I do. Now I can send out a Substack post to people who've signed up and say, hey, I've done this interview. You know, I did one with Whitney Webb. I did one with Germ Warfare. I did one recently with RFK Jr., his podcast. That's not gonna be on YouTube. And now I'll be able to notify people that, hey, you know, if you want to see more of my stuff, I did this interview. If you're interested, here it is. So the two-edged sword of the interview problem gets solved as well. I've got a site I can point to, you know, on both sides of that coin, both to my YouTube viewers and to the viewers of channels that I do interviews on or other forums that I do interviews on. Substack solves that. Another problem that Substack solves involves comments. You know, I love comments on blogs, but the comment section on YouTube uh, leaves a lot to be desired. It's just massively disorganized. Frankly, it's a shit show, which is too bad because I have some really good commenters. You know, I have some people who really taught me a lot of things on my channel over the years. Um, and it's wasted. It's wasted because YouTube's comment section is a disaster. My sense is that not many people are reading the comments. Um, and I hope that I hope for Substack to remedy that because it's much much more organized format. Um, and I encourage people to comment on Substacks uh, when you get notifications 
of new posts or new videos on Substack. And that, that's yet another problem that Substack solves um, that where YouTube was falling short. The final problem is it solves, not the final one, but the last big one that's really been sort of grinding my gears for a while is a lot of times I'll have an angle on a subject or an angle on a topic. And it's not, you know, I don't have enough material or enough source material or I don't really have time to make a video about it. And so I just let it pass um, instead of doing anything about it. And now with the Substack, I can simply write about it um, and post it to Substack and, and just notify people that way. So, you know, if you're so inclined, you know, sign up for my Substack. As I say, the link is in the description box below. Um, it's going to be free. Some Substacks I know are paid subscriptions. Um, people make money that way and that's fine. I'm not going to I'm not going to monetize my Substack, at least not that way. Sometime in the future, I will probably monetize through donations. Uh, we'll see, but that day is not today. Uh, for now, the YouTube channel is free, Odyssey is free, BitChute is free, and my Substack is free. Um, so I encourage you to sign up if you want more of my content. YouTube, you know, congratulations, I must say, Google and YouTube, for being so draconian and so ridiculously heavy-handed you've now forced me out into another venue congratulations now in, in an effort to suppress my con uh, my content all you've done is you've multiplied my content where i'm going to reach more viewers thanks to your idiocy so way to go pat your pat your corporate selves on the back you people are true morons um, and thank you for being such complete imbeciles that i'm now going to reach far more people i'll be able to carry my war against corporate fraud and corporate criminality into crevices of, of the web that previously I was not reaching. So, you know, well done. Congratulations. Today is a happy day. Sign up for my Substack and keep on coming back. Uh, my next video I'm going to do um, on YouTube, Odyssey, BitChute, and Substack now is going to be about how Best Evidence uh, punches way above its weight class. Um, I was going to do that video earlier and then that commenter, Lonious Monk, I love that handle, by the way, Lonious Monk, taking the V out of Thelonious Monk, that's fantastic, um, until that comment hit me like a ton of bricks, you know, I didn't know I was going to do this video, but now I'm, I've done it, I'm announcing Substack, and if you can't tell, I'm being a happy camper, because I really detest YouTube, and I really detest corporate criminality, and now I've got a means to do something about it, so keep coming back, uh, Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.